when the township of Tsala was captured by the Americans in 1945. They also occupied the German military headquarters, a colossal brick building whose basement held a secret war weapon. But they did not secure this weapon. Instead, they sealed off the basement, filling the stairwells with concrete. In this Nazi occult documentary, what they had found will be revealed. Functioning today is the Rathaus, or Town Hall, of Zelle. The headquarters building had always been used as a military barracks. In 1869, it was built for the Prussian army, with five stories above ground, and five more below ground level. Before the end of the Second World War, it was occupied by the SS. Anticipating the arrival of the American army, the SS deliberately flooded the lower levels of the Rathaus. When the last German officer had been removed, three divers from the U.S. Navy were detached for the mission of exploring the submerged levels of the building. This was before the U.S. Navy adopted scuba gear. A U.S. Navy diver would have used a diving suit known as a hard hat. While scuba gear carries oxygen for up to an hour, hard hat gear is tethered to the surface with a lifeline known as the umbilical. The umbilical provides an unlimited supply of air and the power to light a lamp or to run tools and a communications cable allowing the diver to talk with his support topside. The divers explored the five levels underwater, each one colder than the one above. They observed floors painted in black with pentagrams and Latin inscriptions. Runic symbols were scratched into the walls. The rooms they explored bore a superficial resemblance to hospital facilities, operating theaters, and hospital beds. But on closer inspection, all the beds and operating tables had extra fittings. Leather straps with buckles for the restraint of a man's arms, legs, and torso. As if all the patients had been unwilling participants in their treatment. Their umbilicals somehow severed Two of the divers never returned to the surface. The Yanks tried to pump out the cellar, but for every gallon removed, another rushed in to take its place. The SS had evidently flooded the lower levels by breaching one of the walls in order to tap the water table. The Americans used concrete to seal off the stairwells. When Germany was divided into zones between the Allied nations, the town of Zelle would become English territory, and the Rathaus was turned over to the Brits. The British continued to garrison troops there throughout the Cold War. It seemed that the Rathaus was cursed. The frequency of its soldiers going AWOL or completely disappearing was the highest of any station in the British Army. Lance Corporal Jonathan Lewis was on night watch in an armory on the first floor, which was so small that he could see all four corners when the specter of a man emerged from the wall. As the man materialized fully, he was followed by another and another. Their uniforms were gray and one of them wore an iron cross. They were German soldiers. Lewis was close enough to see the grime in the lines of their faces. They shuffled in single file across the room, staring only ahead, as if exhausted by battle fatigue. They passed through the opposite wall, a defeated platoon on its way to some other part of hell. In 2012, 
Excerpts were published from a diary of a German doctor, Heinrich Haas, who during the war worked on the lowest level of the Zelle Neues Rathaus. Dr. Haas claimed that the SS were using powers of the occult. First, to reanimate the cadavers of prisoners, and then to restore to life the casualties of war. Their ultimate goal was the creation of troops which would continue to fight even after their souls had perished in battle. But according to Heinrich Haas, the experiments failed. The revived soldiers could not be controlled and often struck out against the medical staff. The SS program was terminated when the commander determined that demons had been possessing as vessels the bodies of the deceased.